Hi, it's me, Ventbot. I'm here to show you how to change the text on a button to the person's name that enters a trigger volume. So first of all, we need to look at our watch, click backpack, and then click use under maker pen. Our maker pen will spawn in front of us. Just grab it. And the first thing we're going to need is a trigger volume. So I'm going to look at my watch or look at my maker pen, click create. An open palette. Our trigger volume is going to be under gadgets, CV2 gadgets, and you'll see on the second page trigger volume V2. So I'm going to click on that, close my palette. I'm going to look at my snapping on my maker pen, make sure it's on grid, and I'm just going to draw the trigger volume. I'm going to resize it, so I'll hit manipulate and make it a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. Now I have my maker pen out so I can walk into the trigger volume and grab this and bring it out here to make things a little bit easier. Now I want to get out the button that I'm going to use. Look at my maker pen, click create and go to gadgets, CV2 gadgets, and on the first page is a button V2. I'll click that. I'm gonna, I wanna actually spawn this right in front of my trigger volume so that I can watch it change. And I'll move this here too. Actually, let's move this over to this side. Okay, now another circuit that I'm going to need, I'm gonna look at my create menu, open my palette and go to circuits V2. If I click on search chips, I can click here and I can type, start to type the word text. And I want to button set text because I want to set the text of that button. So I'm going to choose that circuit and I'm going to put it right here. Now, before I can set the text, I need to also convert the player name into a string. So I'm going to look at my palette, create, and I'm going to search for the word string. Okay, to string. And you can see whenever I move my finger over top of it, it tells me what it does. So I'm going to click to string and place it right here. So what I want to do now is wire. So first, let me move this a little bit. By the way, if I move my trigger volume right now, it's going to move this board. I don't want it to move that board. So I'm going to click configure, click on the board, expand chip settings and click detach from object. Now when I move this, the board stays where it's at. So I need a little bit more room. I'm ready to wire. Look at your maker pen, choose wire. Now player entered is, I want to activate the button set text. So I'm gonna wire that. Now the target is going to be this button because that's what I want to change. So I'm going to wire this together and the text I want to produce is going to come from this string. So I'm going to wire that. And now I have to get the name of the player that entered the trigger volume. So I'm going to click that and drag it to there. So you'll be able to see player entered is going to activate this, execute it. The player is going to go to this string and fill out this text. And then it's going to say button set text to that button. So if I walk into this trigger volume, you'll see the button will come up with my name. 
and it did. Pretty cool. Now, you'll see that it stayed there uh, when I en exited the button or the trigger volume. Maybe I want it to only display the person that's currently in there. If I want to do that, I can take this button set text and I can clone it by clicking on it, then clicking the green arrow and dragging down. And I'm going to click configure because I want it to be a static text. And I'll click on the text option. And I'm going to select, um, let me say, press here. So now I need to execute this when the player exits the trigger volume. So I'm going to choose my wire tool. The target for this button set text is going to be this button. I'm going to execute it when a player exits. And that really should be all I need. It says vent bot. I go out, it says press here. Vent bot, press here. Vent bot, press here. Pretty cool. Um, and of course you can always make this button. This button doesn't do anything right now. If I want to play a sound, I can click create on my maker pen, open my palette, go to gadgets, CV2 gadgets, uh, second page, SFX V2, sound effects. So if I spawn this in, and I'm going to wire it, every time it's pressed, I want it to play. And if I click configure and click on the little speaker, I can click the drop down for sounds and choose the sound that I want. Red team wins. Goal. See, when you click Hit. on it, it tells you the sound, plays a sound just for you. I personally like revive the most. So I'm going to choose revive. So I can walk into here. It says vent bot. Click press here. It plays the sound. Okay. All right. That concludes our tutorial for today. If you liked the video, please click like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks everybody. See you next time.